Hey guys, I made a video a long time ago talking about Time Machine, how to set that up. So if you guys watch that and you guys have it all set up, this is how to use it. So right now you have your external hard drive hooked up. It's all good. You guys have Time Machine all set up. What do you guys have to do? Every time you guys want to make that backup, go into system settings, or you guys could go up here, by the way. So up here, you guys are going to see this, but let's assume you guys don't have that just yet. We're going to go the long way just to teach you. Type in Time Machine on the top left hand corner so you guys can just search for it really quick. And then from here, I'm going to stop this backup because you guys are not supposed to see that. And then from here, that's your backup. Okay. So I want you guys to know that that's where your backups at. That's what you guys did. And you guys can see options here and choose what to exclude from the backup. So what I'm excluding are other external hard drives that I have hooked up. You don't have to exclude them. You guys can click on them, click on the minus plus. You guys can exclude even more stuff. Automatic, you guys can put manually for the backup frequency. For me, it's every hour whenever I have it hooked up. I don't have it hooked up the whole time, obviously. I only hook it up just to make the backups. But anyways, right now that you guys see this option right here, and we're going to go ahead and right click on this option. So I'm going to right click gonna see backup to time machine now and now it's gonna do that backup if I wanted to do that the short way it would be up here click on it and once you click there you're gonna see this you're gonna click on backup now that would be the short way right now I only see this option because it's already backing up but that's the other way to get started with your backup that's literally all you guys have to do now if you have it set up as manually you have to do this every time if you have it set up as automatic like me Sometimes you just want that update to go right away. You don't want to wait that one hour to pass by. That way everything's gonna go on and back up on your Mac. So that's how it works. That's how external hard drives work with Time Machine. And no, you don't need to have it plugged in all the time. Obviously only plug it in when you want to make a backup. Uh, don't unhook it. Don't, you know, just eject it in the middle of a backup. And once you're done your backup, you guys can go into your Time Machine right click on it and eject time machine that you can do and then you can unplug your external hard drive but other than that that would be it for this video if you guys have any questions comments you guys can write down here in the comments area don't forget to subscribe and like thank you